I want to get to some news just breaking into us in just the last couple of minutes here with that high profile deliberation by a New York jury finding Wayne LaPierre liable for diverting millions of dollars of NRA money on his personal spending, essentially. The NRA, they're saying, failed to manage their finances. NBC legal analyst Carol Lamb and Lisa Rubin are both joining us now. Carol, let me start with you to talk through the nuts and bolts here and just to lay it out for people, essentially. The, um, the, the attorney, state attorney general in this case had essentially said that Wayne LaPierre turned this into Wayne's world, right? Spending millions of dollars on trips and jets. They were like kids with their hands in the cookie jar, essentially, is the argument they made. The defense, LaPierre's attorneys, came back and said, well, wait a second, no, no, this was not, you know, they, we, they distanced themselves from LaPierre. They said this was rogue employees, essentially. Now you've got a jury finding LaPierre liable. What does that mean, and what are the consequences? Yeah, so, Hallie, this is a civil trial, and again, it's right. Letitia James, the attorney general of, of New York, who uh, who just obtained that, that very large judgment against Donald Trump. And she had been doing this investigation for three years. She brought this case. It's a civil case. She brought this case because the attorney general of a state actually has jurisdiction over nonprofits, and the NRA is a nonprofit. And the allegation that she brought in the complaint was that Wayne LaPierre, as well as the NRA and the general counsel and the, the treasurer and the head of operations, had all run the NRA as a sort of uh, cookie jar piggy bank where they, they dipped into it as they wished to pay for private jets, um, benefits to their own families, and they gave an astonishingly large amount of money to contractors who then gave them kickbacks in the form of benefits and, and vacations and such. And so the jury, uh, again, this is a civil case, so they didn't have to get a unanimous jury of 12. Uh, the jury were, were, consisted of six people, and they found them uh, liable civilly for all this misconduct. So, Lisa, what does this mean for the future of the NRA here? What are the implications? So initially, Hallie, when the attorney general of New York filed this suit, she was seeking the dissolution of the NRA as a New York charity. It is a nonprofit organization essentially based on the laws of the state of New York. At an earlier phase of the case, however, the judge overseeing the case dismissed that portion. And so what remained for the jury to decide was, was the NRA improperly managed and, in fact, corruptly managed? And who was responsible for that and to what dollar amount? We know today that Wayne LaPierre will need to pay back back $5.4 million to hmm. the NRA, and that the jury also found that while he paid back some of that money, he's only paid back a little over a million dollars thus far. So Wayne LaPierre, unless he achieves an appellate victory, still's got a bunch of money left to pay to the NRA for all of his misdeeds. Is an appeal possible here, Lisa? It is. An appeal is always possible. It's a civil judgment. We'll have to wait to see what other relief the judge awards, Hallie. There may be other aspects of this judgment, including, for example, disqualifying people from serving as officers or directors of New York charities. There was a gentleman here, John Frazier, who is the sole defendant who's still employed by the NRA. Whether he can remain employed by the NRA is going to be up to the judge as part of this verdict as well. But I expect that one or more parties may take an appeal. Lisa Rubin, Carol Lamb, thank you both so much for jumping in on this developing news coming into us here on a Friday night. Uh, significant there related to the NRA and Wayne LaPierre. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.